Weather 12 forecast. Well, it's been kind of a mixed bag today. We were very dry earlier today, a red flag warning in place until 6 p.m. And now we're looking at showers. We haven't seen much of that in the past several weeks here. And let's take a look outside right now in Lincoln, where you can see some of the pavement there is wet. We've been starting to see more widespread showers moving through at this hour, and that trend will remain consistent as we head towards the overnight and early Monday morning as well. And let's take a look at those temperatures here. Much milder this evening than what we were seeing at this time yesterday 54 right now in Providence up in Taunton just a little bit warmer at 58 similar story down at the coast as well 57 in Narragansett and let's take a look at those departures some spots over 30 degrees warmer today than what we saw at this time yesterday with a very cold night last night you can see across the board here much milder and that trend will continue into Monday as well with an above average temperature day ahead in the next 24 hours so again periods of rain overnight tonight that'll lead way to a quick dry out as we head towards your Monday morning so it'll be much milder tomorrow also breezier after this cold front passes through and with that we'll be seeing more dry weather on the way over the next several days so kind of the pattern we've been seeing with the drought conditions is going to continue and here's the latest check on the drought monitor here now that severe drought area did expand these are updated every Thursday so this is as of this past Thursday here but the severe drought now includes Worcester now all of Rhode Island parts of southeastern Massachusetts Bristol County Mass in the moderate drought as well as all of Connecticut and now the abnormally dry area has extended all the way out to Cape Cod due to just the lack of precipitation we've seen over the past several weeks. Now here's the rainfall forecast that we're tracking with the system overnight tonight. Most areas getting about a quarter of an inch of rain, so not really enough to curb that uh, deficit that we've been seeing, the rain deficit we've been seeing, but certainly doesn't hurt to get some of these uh, accumulations in there overnight tonight, even though they're fairly minor. And let's take a look at satellite and radar where you can see these showers moving through now becoming more widespread. This is all due to a frontal system that'll be moving through over the next several hours. This cold front here will push through fairly progressively leading to uh, much drier conditions as we head towards the start of your Monday. So let's take a look here. 3.30 in the morning could see some periods of moderate rainfall at times, but again, moving through very quickly, already by 8 o'clock here. Lots of clouds left over, but much drier. That'll lead way to increasing sunshine and mild temperatures by the afternoon approaching the mid to upper 60s even in some spots. Those temperatures will drop back down into the lower 50s as we head towards your Monday evening. So again, your Monday morning lingering shower early is possible. It'll be much drier though by around mid morning again those highs above average in the mid to upper 60s so much milder than we usually see this type this time of year but also gusty as well as that front moves out so the main headline will be it'll be staying dry again after these showers move through over the next several days and it looks like things are going to be just fine for veterans day tomorrow on those events yes. yeah we wanted to give a quick shout out to our dads who are veterans yes looking like a good day tomorrow for that john and joe we love you we all love right you. thanks so much the patriots went to the windy city and blew away the chicago bears with their performance derwin has your highlights